about whether the president committed a crime. All right, for more on this, let's bring in our senior Washington correspondent, Dan Raviv. Dan, how has President Trump and his team responded to all of this? Well, they're sticking to their initial story when the Mueller report came out in print, just slightly redacted. That was 68 days ago. The president was saying he was completely exonerated. Uh, he said at the time and many times since, no collusion, no obstruction. Maybe he pulled back a little bit today, more careful after Mueller spoke to the nation for 10 minutes when Donald Trump tweeted, nothing changes from the Mueller report. There was insufficient evidence and therefore in our country, a person is innocent. The case is closed. Thank you. And his press secretary, Sarah Sanders, said, please note that Robert Mueller said he's now quitting the government payroll, returning to private life and getting on with his life. Sarah Sanders said everybody ought to do that. Michelle? All right. So what's likely to happen next, though? It doesn't seem like Democrats are going to let this go and move on, does it? Absolutely right. But of course, what uh, direction will they take? Speaker Nancy Pelosi is still advising that they do not pursue a course that is impeachment. You don't need impeachment hearings, she said, speaking in San Francisco, because six House committees are investigating Donald Trump in various ways. Uh, Joe Biden, who's running for president, he said he agrees with Pelosi that a very divisive impeachment process is not called for, but at one point it may be unavoidable. But other Democrats who are running for president, they joined the impeachment chorus. They include Senators Cory Booker, uh, Kristen Gillibrand, uh, and Elizabeth Warren. Uh, Jerry Nadler, he's a key figure, the Democrat who's the House Judiciary Committee chairman. He seems to be leaning toward impeachment, but so far, so far he wants Mueller to come and testify, even though Mueller said he'll never go beyond what was in his report. Michelle? All right, Dan, thank you so much. Dan Revive, live for us in Washington, D.C. With us to go deep.